Hello Gemini, welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium coffee. Medium Thomas, what am I talking about? Speaking of coffee, and let's have a sip. So, it's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, what we will do here, Geminis, we will look at your overall energy for the months of May. Then we will look into your emotional core, see if there's any healing that needs to happen this month, or maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff, before we then look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of May. Now, energetically speaking, just to start this off, <laughs> we're in the sign of Taurians or Taurus, <clears throat> which is the sign before you. So on the 21st of May, we will be moving into your sign. And whatever sign we're in, that sign has the most energy of all the signs, if that makes sense, just by default, right? So if there's anything really, really important for you to do, maybe schedule it when we're in your sign, okay? So let's have a look at the overall energy as it presents themselves to you in the month of May 2022 for the sign of Gemini. Let's have a look. Yeah, the overall energy for Gemini is not super powerful, if that makes sense. Again, I said that earlier here, um, and I only work is whatever the guides say, I become a parent and just say that. So when things come into my mind, it's all spirit-led. And they already told you that we are that you're getting into your strengths when we're in your sign from the 21st of May, because you have the timber wolf and the turkey. So of all the wolves, so the, 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 the basic message of the wolf is to understand you have a pack to run, even if it's just a pack of one, right? Um, and to understand um, that you have to be in charge and in control of your life. Now, the timber wolf is a little bit more timid than the grey wolf is. So what they're saying to you is um, best laid plans sometimes are just best laid plans. It may not necessarily mean that anything and everything you plan in May will actually come to fruition, right? And here's the reason why, because your outgoing energy for your overall energy in May 2022 is the turkey. And the turkey is super intelligent and super often killed for someone else's pleasure. <laughs> it doesn't mean you get killed and there will be zombies tomorrow, right? That's not what it means, Gemini's. But if you feel, and it's interesting because we, we had similar things in the sign before yours in Taurus with regards to uh, don't express, don't, don't, don't explain yourself too much because that's what the turkey here, here as well. And that's what is, oh, it's a little bit I can't talk, represents as well. So, the more you feel, let me explain this to you, right? the less this will work, if that makes sense. Right? If people have no common sense, they have no common sense. And if you have a really good idea, whoever is the one that you are um, telling it to, right? unless they're engaged, they might not fully get it. Right? So don't waste your breath. And also what I'm getting is, is to be um, a bit more detached from things because sometimes putting words to things, even though it feels good, doesn't necessarily change anything, right? So that's your overall energy for the month of May 2022 for the sign of Gemini. You're watching Thomas Taro page with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. So let's have a look at your emotional core. Let's see what we got for you there. <clears throat> When it comes to your emotions, you have, the, you have the arctic wolf and the grey wolf. The arctic wolf of all the wolves is the most vulnerable. And this is sort of a symbolism because it is about comparison, understanding that, you know, if you live in the arctic, there's less opportunity than if you don't live in the arctic. So the, so the animals that live in the desert and the ones that live in the arctic, symbology, symbol, symbolically speaking, are the ones that have less opportunities. Now, when it comes to your emotional core, 
how do you feel how do you how you try to manifest a new love you have the arctic wolf which means while you are you are you want to progress in, in, in all things love. And I'm getting this about relationships. I'm not getting this so much about healing this month. So um, <clears throat> if you are in a relationship or should you want to be in a relationship, then understand that it is not, number one, it's not your fault. And number two, it is not a deal breaker just because you, ha you are, <laughs> sounds wrong, sounds just the way it is, you, sound, you are pre-hurt. So... You come with a little bit of a suitcase full of shit from other relationships, right? Or, or things that even if you have been in this relationship for a long time or, or quite some time, maybe stuff crops up, right? That needs to be triggered, that kind of stuff. All the guys are saying is be vulnerable. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. And any partner or anyone that wants to be with you, if they don't allow you to be vulnerable, fuck them. Right? It's that simple. Okay, sorry about the swearing. It was one of the things. Anyway, the other animal that you have with regards to your love and your emotional core is the grey wolf. So you have two wolves here. And the two wolves always mean that the one you feed will be the strongest. So it's not necessarily the same, but energetically speaking, when you look at the Arctic wolf being more vulnerable than the grey wolf, there's an old a Native American story where, where someone says there's two wolves inside you. One that wants to do good and one that wants to do harm. And then someone says, so which one will win? And then the Native American elder says, the one you feed. Ultimately, allow yourself to be vulnerable. Don't make it a massive topic, right? You don't walk around and you don't want pity, right? <laughs> but <clears throat> allow yourself to, to, to be vulnerable. And the grey wolf is saying to you, like, but... but <laughs> Charge forward, be in charge, you know, risk a little, you know. So it sounds a bit weird when you're really vulnerable, you don't really want to have rejection, but um, hanging about without, without um, using opportunities that may come, if that makes sense, don't work either. So you have to be proactive um, in the month of May here, um, when, it comes, Gemini, when it comes to um, pursuing all things love, right? So that was that. Now we're going into your um, into opportunities, and opportunities, like I said, are normally about what sustains you financially. Here's a bit of an issue when it comes to opportunities. Money is not a spiritual currency. You cannot really manifest money. So you have to say to the universe what it is you wish to achieve, what it is you want to really have, and you can say to them, "I really fancy this," right? And if you need me to work harder, I will, right? So don't make anything really about how much money you earn. It doesn't make you a better person. Yes, it will open doors, absolutely. Um, but this is about understanding, especially this month's Gemini's, is that the way you are being the most appreciated is by being the quirky you. Right? If that makes sense. Also, I'm getting again that we're coming into Gemini on the 21st. So if you are going for opportunities, please, please, please understand that when you are in your own sign, which happens on the 21st of May, you are much stronger, right, to be seen. Okay? That's just um, that. And then you have the great horned owl and the coyote. <clears throat> so the owl draws an auditory map to see the mouse in the undergrowth. So she will then get the mouse without getting caught. That is quite easy. That means that when things come to you, pay attention to whether or not you feel this is actually something I like to do, this is something I could achieve. Anything at this point in time, month of May, where you feel like, okay, I could do this, but that would mean I have to commit to learning a bunch of new things just to have a chance to sustain this there, is not for you at least this month. It is just not for you. You have the coyote as the outgoing energy. And that means with regards, with regards to opportunities, even if you felt that you're not going after opportunities because there's too much work that you need to do on top of just the work that, that is being asked of you <coughs> as you do a certain um, job, if that makes sense, the coyote is saying, well, I'm a scavenger. 
And no matter where I go, which means no matter where you go, there is food. Right? You will always be sustained. So don't go into panic about sort of, sort of missed opportunities because they may not be missed opportunities at all. Anyway, guys, that's all we got for the month of May for the sign of Gemini. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas. And like, please like, subscribe, and share. I see you all next month. Bye bye.